Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com. This is my daily stock signals video, and today is the 14th of May. And so, briefly from our members area in the Wave5 Trade Stock Signals membership, our members get daily updates on potential long and short fifth wave trades on the weekly, daily, and 60 minute time frame and also stochastic longs and shorts on intraday timeframes as well. So uh, I've chosen short trades today. So our members click on the short trades for the fifth wave, click on the image and download the spreadsheet. Spreadsheet for today looks something like this. So I'm just going to show you the 60 minute. So there's quite a few potential shorts on the 60 minute time frame for trading that fifth wave down. I've chosen one of these. So let's go and have a look at the chart. So I've chosen EIX on the 60 minute time frame. For those members that have our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite, this is the Ninja Trader version. We also have it available for Thinkorswim, TradeStation and Multicharts. And we isolate the high of this previous um, trend up here around about uh, April the 20, 30th, something like that, 29th. And our automated indicator suite then gives us the uh, the Elliott wave count one two three and four it's this fourth wave that we're more interested in than anything else uh, also the filters on the membership scanner results give us the 535 oscillator pulling back between 90 and 140 percent which is brilliant the stochastic has pulled in crossed over into the overbought zone and the wave four here has pulled back into our probability zones. Now it's found resistance, initial resistance in the amber zone here. So there's an 80% probability it's going to go on and make a new wave low into our automated target zone down here around about 5960. That's if this uh, resistance level holds. Obviously, I'm making this video on Sunday for Monday. Um, but what we're looking for is a conservative entry here because we are going into a new week uh, after a weekend so we just want to be careful on the entry so quite conservative here with a stop loss around about 62.58 above this wave four high and 61.57 is the entry which is outside of this 6.4 moving average low which is also part of our earlier wave indicator suite here and uh, so uh, uh, this is a conservative entry strategy 61.57 below that 6.4 moving average low that gives us a risk reward of one to two into the target level here and we would look to see this i mean some of the recent trades have got there in a day uh, average is three to seven days on this 60 minute time frame to reach that target so very very simple setup uh, the, re the scanner results come into our membership area and then uh, a lot of our members also have the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite from Wave5Trade.com. And we simply, everything's automated there, gives us the wave count. We're looking at that wave four, and then we're looking to trade this fifth wave. The fifth wave is the highest probability move in an Elliott Wave sequence. More importantly, it's the end of that trend. Everything else has happened. It's got all, met all those rules. It's the 535 is great between the 90 and 140 stochastics crossed over in the overbought zone, wave four into the probability pullback zones, and uh, we've got a decent entry strategy and risk reward. So high probability trades. So that's it for today. This is the EIX 60 minute time frame potential short. Have a great trading day and I'll speak to you all tomorrow.